for about a year of my life, I used this lens almost exclusively for my street photography. This is the wildly popular Helios 44-2 58mm f2 lens. It's famous for its swirly bokeh, however it has another characteristic I just fell in love with. At the edges of the canvas, the image breaks apart in a way I have never seen before. Of course, strictly speaking, this is an optical defect. However, I dig it, and this is why the color distortion plugin exists. Let's play around with the sliders. If I increase the spread, you can see that the edges just get blurred in a, in a radial fashion. And if I increase the color fringe amount, you can see that the colors start to fall apart. It looks an awful lot like radial blur, doesn't it? I will pull up the um, radial blur, here it is. But as you can see, the radial blur just blurs all of the image. Let's disable this. The color distortion plugin only smears the highlights. Furthermore, if we have a look at the waveform and play around with the spread, you can see that our footage gets brighter as well. This is no coincidence because the plugin compares whether or not the underlying footage is brighter or darker than the highlights it smears around. If it's darker, it will apply the smeared highlights and if it's brighter, it will just leave it alone. The radial smearing of the highlights and the color fringe amount make together color distortion. To keep the effect believable, I recommend only using minor adjustments. I will increase the spread ever so slightly and then a little bit of color fringing. I might zoom in a little bit and as you can see, it is pretty heavy already. So I think I will pull that down just a touch and let's have a look. I think I can increase the spread a little bit, but the color fringing, we, yeah, we shouldn't overdo the color fringing. Let's have a look at the before and after. This is before, this is after. Those are some serious dreamlike qualities. Let's zoom out again and have a look at the before and after. This is before, this is after. Have a look at the top left corner, this is just beautiful. This is before, this is after. To make this effect even more believable, we can add a shape mask to spare the center of our image. I will add a shape mask and just leave it at the center, but I will increase it in the horizontal size and I will increase the feather a considerable amount. Something like this. Maybe let's make it a little bit smaller again and like that. Then I go to the drop down menu and invert the mask. This now means that the color distortion is only applied at the edges of our image. I get rid of the mask and let's have a look at the before and after. This is before, this is after. Of course, the obvious solution would be just shooting with a lens like this, but this is not always practical. With this plugin, you can have the best of both worlds. 